Hello everybody and welcome to Kingdoms and Castles. This is a fantastic new city building medieval management game with an awesome low poly art style and as you guys know I am a sucker for low poly art. I just love it. The developers tried to raise $15,000 on a crowdfunding website called Fig and raised over a hundred thousand so obviously a lot of people saw potential in this game myself included. I backed it and th therefore have access to the alpha. Currently you can still be a slacker backer and get access to the alpha or the beta later this summer or the full release. I believe they're aiming for either the fall or winter. I'd have to double check on that. But if you enjoy this video or you're excited for this game make sure you hit the like button make that gray thumb turn blue and let's jump right into a brand new game uh, choose a region for your kingdom we have Paxil and no threats summer end of, of easy and Vintar hard since I'm new to the game well I, I guess we can't choose Vintar hard so I guess we're going with summer in an easy area so right now this is the whole map you see right here uh, this game really reminds me of things like banished and uh, just really a lot of those sort of city builder games uh, different from banished because there are external threats that will threaten your kingdom and your castle so we can change, we can just vary this up, see what we got going on. Uh, we do want areas with a lot of lighter stone, like you see here, and trees. And we can zoom in pretty far. Look at that, we can get straight down there. It's a little dizzying because it's rotating right now. Doesn't normally do that. So I'm just going to keep cycling through these and find a map that I like. Uh, I kind of like this one. Yeah, there's some nice area here. We can start in the middle and spread out. Oh yeah, let's go with this one. Alright. So here we are in the map. There we go. That's that stuff from a previous game I was playing. Uh, here we can have speed controls. One, two, three, four, five. We can go ahead and pause the game too. Whoa! <laughs> I freaking paused the game on a lightning strike. What? <laughs> what are the odds of that? Oh, I love it. That was so funny. Okay, so it's it's a little longer than like your average lightning strike, but that was some damn good timing. All right, so I can pause the game. Uh, we have our resources here: wood, stone, food, gold, castle, uh, different building things here. Castle, town, economy, and these guys are having pretty good about updating the game. I've been following them on Twitter for a while, and uh, they've they've updated like three or four times since the alpha launch just a couple months ago. So I think they're aiming for every two or three weeks coming up with an update. So they've been on the ball. First thing we got to build is a keep your home and court. Consult with advisors. Here will cost us 100 trees, 250 stone. So it's going to use all of our stone. So that's going to be something we're going to have to deal with. Let's move over here. I do like how these clouds dissipate to kind of get out of your view. That is so cool. Uh, we're going to need to harvest a lot of stone and wood to start. So I'm thinking of starting our little town right here. We're going to put the keep right here. I can rotate it around. And we'll go ahead and put that right there smack dab in the middle. That gives us four units. So we can go ahead and press play and you'll see them start running around. See, we got little dudes right there. They're all standing in the same place right now. We got a couple of red shirts and a green shirt. So those are just our our subjects, our peasants, our loyal serfs, as it were. <laughs> there they go. And then up here we have our advisors. We have agricultural city and military. Good day, Shire. We need well, we'll need farms to feed our uh, to first feed our workers. I can't read the day, guys. I'm sorry. Good day, Sire. Let's begin growing our kingdom with roads and houses good, and military. Just says, good day, Sire. All right, man. This weather, man, it's really rainy. <laughs> I tested the game out earlier. Oh, there we go. Now the sun's starting to come up. All right. So we need to get some homes for these people. So what we're going to do is build some roads. Uh, there, everything basically has to be connected with roads, or at least not everything. A lot of things have to be, but it just makes the game easier. So we're going to start sticking some roads out from the sides here. I'm just going to go out on all four angles. And then we're also going to grab uh, do, 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 do some houses. Each house has four, uh, can hold four people, these beginning houses. There are bigger ones you can get later, I believe. For now, we'll do a hovel. It can hold four peasants. So we'll go ahead and build... Uh, yeah, we need more trees. All right, so we'll build one there for now. The host our original four, and then we'll go over here and have them start chopping down these woods. And we're also going to speed up a little bit to get them going. And it's already winter, yeah, so the years go by really, really fast. There you go, look at them go. They're so happy. And you can actually even, uh, you can click on them and say, what, what is he saying? Likes the sound of rain. It's not currently raining. Weary but determined. Are they all named Sam? Are they all named Sam Johnson? Oh, no, no, Bryce. Denise. <laughs> Uh, that's a nice looking woman right there. Looks exactly like the men. <laughs> Poor Denise. Alright, let's keep it going. We need some advisors. What are they saying? Uh, let's grow a population. Travel in houses where people move into. Yes, yeah, so occasionally people will come by and visit your city and things like that. And if they have a place to move in, then they'll uh, want to move in. Uh, did I screw up these roads? I might uh, screw up these roads. I forgot to m rotate them. That's eh, weird because that one rotated automatically. Interesting. Okay, what did these cost, by the way? I didn't even check. One tree? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we gotta actually rotate these. There you go. And let's get another hovel set up. I just want to make sure the door is facing the right way for when uh, new people show up. 
Uh, we also need to start working on food for our village. So you can see the green land in here. This is fertile, barren. So we can only build farms on the fertile lands. Uh, yeah, so we don't really have much over here. Uh, maybe we'll extend this road out a bit. And then have our farms over here. Because this does seem like pretty fertile land. So we'll just extend these out. It's going to use a lot of wood and stuff right now, but that's okay. Look how strong they are, though. They just picked that up. They did. They did basically just take it where it's needed. Now, eventually, you can build things like granaries and uh, storage depots for your resources. But let's just have them start going, and now we're going to get some farms. So you can't build it there. Soil's not fertile enough here, so we're going to build our farmland out here. Uh, do we not have enough now? Nope, they're still gathering stuff, so we got to get more trees. You guys still gathering? You can go and chop these down, too. Right now, we're just working the, with the trees we have. Later, we can build a forester who will actually go out and plant trees and harvest them. Things like that. So, getting the roads done. That's looking good. That dude just walked through the house. <laughs> and as the game still is in alpha, so a lot of bugs, things like that. I mean, it's, it's to be expected. It is not representative of the final product. Is that, is that the tagline I'm supposed to use? Really need you guys to build these farms, please. Come on. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, there we go. Four people visit, but only one inside of the stay and serve you. So we're up to five. So occasionally, yeah, groups of people will visit. Some of them will join you. Things like that. And I'm not sure if eventually the the, the little dudes can repopulate on their own. Well, I guess they're not just dudes if they're going to repopulate. But I guess we'll find that out. Uh, they're starting to work the farms. That is good. Let's get some more going. There we go. One there. And look at that. They just kind of dance around their fields. <laughs> they're doing like a rain dance. And the food is starting to grow. There you go, looking good. Uh, for the next tier of buildings, we are going to need stone and stuff. So, uh, let's save up some trees and get ourselves a quarry. Now, you can only mine the gray stone. So, stone available to the quarry, uh, not usable stone. So, you can only mine the gray stone. So, I guess we're going to have to build around these black stones? Well, that's okay. I mean, as our city expands, we'll have to keep that in mind. It took too long to store a harvest. Some of it was ruined by the winter. Improving past the granary would help. Yes, I would like to build a granary and like to build a quarry. Kind of waiting on these jerks to uh, finish gathering wood. There we go, starting to get some food. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get ruined. Ruined. I think I'm saying that wrong. Alright, so we've got currently 11 wood. They're gathering this stuff. Look at that, damn! Dude's just lifting up three at a time. Look at him go. What a badass. I feel like the winter is a little bit too bright. Like, I, it makes it kind of hard to see. Okay, quarry. Ah, uh, we need to build roads out to it. Dang it, always with the roads. Okay, well, we're getting some more people in here, so we should be able to, to do that soon. Okay, come on, need another road. Thank you, and now we can do the quarry. Nope, cancel that. Quarry, should be able to do that right there. And they'll build that and start to harvest this uh, gray stone. So I probably should have built a little closer to the stone, so we don't have to, or the stone and the wood, rather, so we don't have to spend as much time and resources making these things, but that's okay. We currently have eight people now, so our houses are full, so we need to build a new house. Let's go ahead and build another hovel. Ah, it's still right there. We'll just kind of surround the castle with them initially. Also, do love the music in the game. It's very medieval sounding. Uh, we definitely need a granary because these guys, yeah, I think they're just storing it in here. Yeah, they stored it there. That's okay. I mean, yeah, and they, this can only store 50. Uh, it's a little forest there. What? Why is it telling me that there? Huh, that might be mixed up. Alright, did we get the... Yes, we do have the quarry. Good. Let's get the new house built. That's coming up. Fantastic. Now these guys should head to the quarry and should start picking up stone. Look at them go. <laughs> They're so simplistic, but so adorable. So we have three people working in the fields. Looks like we have three on the quarry. So that leaves two people running around. We got one guy here gathering stuff. Don't know where the other person is. We currently have zero people idle. Look, like we're missing someone. Or are there four people in the quarry? No, it looks like there's only three. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> don't know where the eighth person is. Maybe, am I the eighth? Whoa, am I the eighth person? I don't think so. I think I'm more of like an omnipotent god. Or I guess I am the king, so I live in there. And I don't have to do anything. Just tell everyone else to do things for me. Okay, I want the granary. We need more trees. Uh, they're heading out there to start chopping those down. We're doing decent on food. We got 35 out of 50. Happiness is important too, because uh, more people will join their town if we're, if, if, if we're happy. And we have 10 people now. Fantastic. Got only 12 beds. Yep, so three people visited. Two of them decided to stay. That's 66.66%. Sounds pretty good to me. Ah, fantastic. We got the granary. Okay. Well, since we can't build a farm on this land, we'll go ahead and put it right there. Just because, you know, what else are we going to put there? Well, we can't put another farm there, but you know what I mean. Okay, we got 10 people. Let's see. Food. 
are just doing all right. We might build another farm soon. It's kind of bothering me that this farm is facing a different way than these farms, but, you know, I'll get over it. Ooh, we can name the town. Sea Topitan. Sea Topitan. <laughs> that's, that's not super catchy, but, you know, it'll work. For this game, I moved my webcam. It's normally over there, but now you guys are over there. Just because I want to be on the right side of the screen. <laughs> so I keep looking over there to look at you guys, but... Ugh, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. Okay, we're almost done with the granary. Get that built. Come on. And then we can store this food. Or wait, how much can this store? Because <laughs> do we not need it until this thing gets to 50? Because they were telling me that we were wasting some of it. Hmm. Food storage. Okay, yeah, so that upped our food storage. So it wasn't super necessary. <laughs> I just realized the roof opens. <laughs> That's so cool. Do they all do that? No, just the granaries. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, three people wanted to stay, but we had to turn away because we don't have enough beds. Okay, so well, let's start harvesting some more wood. Let's chop all these down. Chop it, chop, chop, chop. We have some uh, people that are currently idle, so we'll chop all those down. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and build some more hovels just so we can ensure that we have enough uh, room for people that want to stay. And we're out of trees. Okay, well, they're going to start harvesting that, and that'll be good. Oh, now we're getting a lot of wood. Okay, yeah, we got a ton now. Put those there. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Uh, d -d 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 what do my advisors want? They're always yelling about something. What you want? Yeah, worry about food for the winter. I'm working on it. Peasants are mostly fine, but we can do better. Try examining houses here and improve peasant conditions. Okay. Happiness, 50. Road access plus. Want access to a well. Yes, they do want a well. So now that we're up to 12 people, and we have 16 beds, which are we're going to expand on that really soon. Let's go ahead and add another farm here. Yeah, we'll just make it that way. Maybe I'll demolish that one. I don't know. And they do want a well. Wells are... Uh, provides fire protection. Don't fall in. Yeah, so you can see the kind of the area effect the well has. Let's see. Where do they go? I, I keep accidentally misclicking. Okay. I think that would be good. And do we need roads connecting to it? I mean, that... Oh, jeez. No. Cancel that. Demolish that. That might be pretty cool. And that's... It won't be... Eh. Might waste some space. But I think it'll look cool. So that's all that matters, right? The peasants are starving. Oh no! They are pretty hungry. Okay, yeah, now we're starting to gather. And they can gather quicker because we're right by the green here. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need... Uh, let's do orchard. Cost 15 trees. Small stockpile. Let's see. Forester, that's what I want. So let's save up on wood there. They're gathering it right now. Orchard produces food. It's probably a lot slower than a farm. If it's anything like banished. But looks like happiness is going up. We're up to 71. And good old Sea Tuppeton. I don't like that name. If you guys can think of a better name, let me know in the comments. I'm not 100% sold on that name of Sea Tuppeton. Oh no, the quarries have no place to store their stone. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, well, then we definitely need a small stockpile. Let's go ahead and put that... Oh, you see, I keep clicking off of it. I'll just put that there. That way they can store the stone there. Looks like these guys are hungry. Yeah, we're working on it, guys. We got four farms now. There are 17 of you. I may have built too many beds, actually. That, well, that's not good. Okay, well, let's, yeah, let's put these farms down here. One there. Come on. Nope, not insufficient resources. Ah, the trees, man. Always with the trees. Yeah, we have way too many beds. Okay, so yeah, my pop population expanded a little bit too fast. We're up to 17 people, and four of them are idle, huh? All right, well, let's keep chopping these trees down, guys. I need the wood. I desperately need the wood. Somebody give me the wood. My lord, people visited our kingdom, but none sought fit to stay. What? Happiness is 71. What are you guys talking about? It's probably because they're so very hungry. I hardly see how that's my fault, but whatever. Orchard. Okay, yeah. Orchard is slightly bigger. And does it need to be on fertile land? Yeah, it does need to be. Okay. Let's go ahead and put one there. Insufficient resources. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead and connect a road down to it. Just to make it faster. Oops. Okay, return there. Alright, what are the advisors saying now? The peasants are starving. Yeah, I'm working on it, man. All right. Look at them. They're starving while toiling in the field. I believe in you guys. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Now they're starting to store some food in there. I can, it's so cool. I like how it just flips open. It's so cute. I love it. All right. We're only storing 48. Yeah, we're only getting up to about 50. So they're happier now. Happiness to drop down to 65. Let's see. Everyone seems to be relatively happy. Wants neighbors. You have neighbors. Well, these guys do. These guys do. This guy doesn't. Yeah. Well, I don't want to build any more houses right now because we're already up to 20 people. That seems like a lot. In fact, let's just keep... Let's just get some more farms. Or let's do another um, orchard, shall we? All right there. There we go. Keep it nice and symmetrical. That's how I like it. Man, these years go by fast. We're already at year 11. 
Hot damn. All right, now what's she saying? It's always about the food. Okay, I'm, I'm working on it, okay? Let's see, food output 52 a year. These are only 13, yeah, so these should output quite a bit more. But these take three workers. All right, so it takes a lot more people to run an orchard than a farm, but that's okay. I mean, it's gonna output, let's see, yeah, 16 per year, 58 or something, 52, yeah. So it's well worth it. Ooh, we do have a windmill. Improves productivity of farms and radius does not affect orchard. That's pretty cool, but I want a forester. Okay, so we need some more trees. Well, let's chop down these ones. We've been we've been chopping down that forest over there quite a bit. All right, we currently filled up our beds. We have 24 beds, and we filled up all 24 of them. Swear to God, advisors, what do you want? Yeah, foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always with the food, man. All right, so we've got our. We can get our forester now. Uh, too far away from road, so we probably want a road to kind of head out over to it. All right. Yes, because that's how they work. It's similar to Banish, right? Chops and replaces, replants trees. Yes, so let's go ahead and get a road. Uh, we're going to send it out this way. There we go. So we'll have a forester way the heck out there. It's probably saying, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that guy. Because <laughs> he's kind of annoying me. Uh, but we will get some more farms. Let's see. I think a windmill. Yeah, we don't have the resources for that. I'm interested to see like what the radius of the windmill will be. A small granary, how full is this thing? Yeah, so we got time. We don't really need to worry about that anytime soon. Uh, let's see. Can we get some more farms out here? Do the farms have to be? Oh, no, that works. Okay. So they don't have to be uh, touching the road. That's good to know. Let's see three more there. And, you know, let's just go all out. Let's just do a bunch of farms. Can't have too many farms. And then we'll have to build some more houses as well. But we're gotta, we got to wait for these guys to start getting some more wood going. Come on, guys. Build that forester, please. Look at them go. <laughs> Just bounce it around. I don't know why I think this is so funny looking. Oh, nice harvest. Oh, look at that. We're gonna break a hundred. Are we gonna break a- Yes! 102! Haha! -ha! 124! Fantastic. Look, this thing is full. Let's see, it can hold 200. Alright. That's pretty good. Uh, but we can also store food in the- We have- We can store 50 in the center hold, so that's good. Uh, castle. Yeah, castle gates, block, archer tower. Ballista Tower, Throne Room, Chamber of War, Great Hall. Yeah, so there's a lot more stuff with the castle we built. So we start off as our, our, our quiet little hamlet. And we will expand from here and make it quite a bit bigger. Finally getting some more wood in. I just realized this is on top of the stupid trees. Alright, whatever. So I, I thought they were going to demolish the trees, but I guess not. Interesting. There's only one worker in it. Uh, should we give him a stockpile too? Let's do that. Let's do a small stockpile right here. And that's where they store the resources. And then we'll just be able to, you know, run back and forth. Yeah, because I'd rather have the, uh, the wood harvester just have to... Wait, does... Oh, it looks like they stored them there, actually. Okay, so can we cancel that? Uh, demolish that. Yeah, we don't need to do that, because I'm pretty sure he just stores them right there, inside of the forester. So that should be good. Alright, this, this farm's annoying me, so next time they harvest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap the farm. Flip it on its side. Alright, there we go. Got a ton of food coming in now. So we're good on there. We can start growing our town a little bit more, adding some more hovels. Come here, you. Where'd you go? You still a little hovel town. Hovel there. Hovel there. There we go. That'll add eight more people. And that, that looks good. Yeah, the greenery is full. So, alright. Yeah, we got enough farms and stuff now. You guys can eat. Just eat all the food. Demolish that farm. And for now, we'll rebuild it if we really need to. And what are they gonna say? I swear, if they say food, took too long to store. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's make life better for the peasants. What do they want? Happiness is 74. Don't know what else I can do, man. I, I allowed them to live in my kingdom, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be it for this first episode of Kingdoms and Castles. I'm going to be doing a series on this while I'm at PAX East this weekend. So it's going to be all pre-recorded. So if you have any tips and stuff, I'm sorry if I'm not able to, you know, use them immediately. But we'll definitely use them in the future. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. I like hearing you guys' feedback about games. I like having a discussion. So please, someone talk to me. I'm so lonely. I've used that bit before. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, jeez, a fire started. I'll pause the game. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.